We're looking at number four right now. Number four says find the diameter of a circle with an area ninety five point zero three feet squared so remember area is defined by pi r squared unlike the last problem we're not able to get diameter right away so in order to get the diameter we do have to use the radius but the end we would have to do diameter is equal to two r that's an r almost a two pi r so our diameter will equal two times the radius, okay? Shouldn't be used the same color, but that's fine. Um, so next thing here is we're going to plug in this area into here and then do a little bit of magic with it. So what we have here is 95.03 feet squared equals pi r squared first thing I see is we're multiplying we're doing the uh, inverse of order of operations we divide everything by pi divided by pi cancels um, just uh, on our calculator you could do it this way or you could do it all at once um, I'm just gonna get it right away so we have 95.03 divided by 3.14 oops 3.14159 equals, and that's the next number we have. Um, so typically I wouldn't write this in, I'll just do the next step using these numbers, but don't round to the very end. Let me just write that down. Don't round until the end. Big chemistry thing. Um, won't be too much of a hassle right here, but just uh, that's where our focus will be, okay? All right, so what we have here, I'm just gonna write down the number so you can see it. We have 30.2490143 equals r squared. The inverse of r squared is the square root, so we square root both sides. So we get the radius, we square root both sides, we get the radius is equal to 5.499103991036. Um, um, you times that by 2, because we're going to plug this answer in, times it by 2. So right here, our 5.5, we rounded. We get 5.5 .5 because we're round to the nearest tenth. This would round it up. We get 5.5 .5 is equal to our radius. You do 5.5 .5 times 2. You get the diameter. Is equal to 2 times 5.5. .5. So then you get 11 equals D. All right, so we get the diameter here. Our goal is 11. And just like the last problem, since this is already here, we might as well just do it. So I wanna move this up. Okay, so number five says find the circumference of a circle with an area of 254.47 inches squared. So here we're given the circumference and find the circumference of a circle with an area. So we're given the area and we want to find the circumference. So right here we know uh, what we have to do. So what we have to do is C is equal to 2 pi r and area is equal to pi r squared. And since we are given the area, we are going to plug it into here, okay?
So we have 254. I'm just going to do it over here. 254.47 inches squared equals pi r squared. So what we know is that the inverse of multiplication is division. So we divide by pi, divide by pi. So we get r squared equals 254.47 inches squared divided by pi. Just keeping that there. And then from here, the inverse of a square is a square root. So we have a square root. And so on our calculator, what we're going to do is do 254, oops, 254.47 divided by 3.14159. Then we're going to square root it. We get about 9.0, so we're just going to round it to 9 just for simplicity. The reason why we kept that in there was because on the scientific calculator, you guys may use, you can solve the answer in one fell swoop. So we have 9 is equal to the radius. So they both share a radius. So what we're going to do now is once we found that radius, because that's what they both shared, we're going to put that in circumference. So we have right here, circumference is equal to 2 pi 9. And that was originally inches. So here we get C is equal to 18 pi inches. And then we just multiply 18 times 3.14159. And we get 56.5. We're just going to keep that as that. So our circumference is 56.5 inches. All right. And that's how you do it.